Okay, this is another problem out of the yellow slice, estimating the mean of grouped data. Oftentimes I will call this one getting the mean from the histogram. And it is an estimate because we don't actually have all of the numbers anymore. We simply have a histogram here. We simply know that there, in this case, in this bar, that there are two numbers in there somewhere between 200 and 400, but we don't know just what they are. The data has been lost. But yet we can recover the mean anyway, and we'll proceed to do that. First of all, let's look at a formula. Once again, there's a recipe, a formula, a way to do this in statistics. And what we'll need to do is just take a quick look at that. The mean then is going to be calculated by adding or summing up a series of things. And that series of things is always going to be comprised by taking the height of each bar and multiplying that by the midpoint of each bar. So let's go back and take a look at our first bar to get us started. Notice that our first bar has a height, I call it. Uh, Alex may call this the frequency, which of course it is, but the height of the bar. And then we will multiply that times the midpoint of the bar. Now in this case, you notice that the first or the initial class boundary is 200. The next class boundary is at 400. The midpoint is going to be the point which is exactly between those two. And that might be pretty obvious in this case that that's going to be 300. But sometimes that isn't always so obvious. And so let's go ahead here now and add a few notes here. Uh, first of all, I'll just draw out that first bar. Notice here that that first bar has a height of 2. That's going to go into our formula. But the midpoint of that bar, notice down here that the class boundaries for the bar were 200 and 400. Now, maybe you can just look at that and see in this case that that's 300 halfway between the two. But sometimes these numbers are decimal, sometimes they're harder. And so here's what you do. You simply take your first uh, class boundary, the 200. Take the next class boundary, the end of that bar, which would be 400. Add those two numbers together, which would be 600, and divide by 2. That'll give us 300, and that's going to be our first midpoint. Now, once again, remember to calculate. We're going to have to add up a number of those products, each height times each midpoint. So let's get back and start setting those up. Now, looking at our a histogram here once again 300 is our first midpoint it's pretty obvious here that this midpoint would be 500 this one 700 900 and lastly 1100 so what we'll do then is to take the uh, height of the first bar 2 times its midpoint of 300 and then add the height of this bar, which would be 2 times its midpoint, which would be 500. And uh, I've done that already over in this step. So 2 times 300 plus 2 times 500 plus 2 times 700 plus 8 times 900 plus 1 times 1100. Now on the bottom of the fraction, notice here then that we have the sum of the heights. And a quick note on here, the sum of these heights, or the, the sum of all of the, the heights or frequencies in your history, is just simply going to be in uh, the total sample size. So uh, here I showed adding those heights together, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 1. But if you notice in Alex here, they're telling us that the top 15 radio stations uh, are going to be, that's our sample size anyway, so that these numbers will in fact add up uh, to 15. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of work back here. Uh, and add a step to this problem, and let's start crunching uh, out some of the math. Okay, so we're making some progress here. The 2 times 300 is 600. Uh, 2 times 500 is 1,000. 2 times 700 is 1,400. 8 times 900 is 7,200. 1 times 1,100 is 1,100. And of course, we said here that n uh, was 15, or we could have added those up and got to the same thing. Uh, let's go ahead then and uh, add up the number on the top. And for those numbers on the top, we get 11,300, which 
which I'm going to divide by 15 and that number is going to be 753 and then I'm going to get 333 repeating forever. So the mean that I want is uh, going to need to be rounded. Let's take a look here and see what Alex wants. Uh, they say uh, round your answer to at least one decimal place. Okay, so what we need to do then is to uh, round to one decimal place. Let's go back and uh, notice here that one decimal place, the first decimal place is a three, the next digit's a three, so we will round 753.3, which we will report for our mean. Back in Alex, 753.3.